and welcome back. Here is Arunavo Chaudhary and you can follow me under my YouTube channel Arun Foot as well as my other social media handles and as well of course on arunfoot.com. The topic today that I wanted to talk to you about is Mumbai City Football Club, the ISL Cup winners and their huge squad rebuild. Was it needed? Could they have avoided it? Could they have done it differently? The first thing I always say is, as fans, as outsiders, to have an opinion, anyone can have one, but to know what is happening inside a club, inside a team, is always very, very difficult to know and to judge. Now, what has the club done? So far, they have themselves announced the departure of 11 players and another player has announced his own departure. If we go through it, uh, Jakub is gone, Gurkiret, Mohamed Nawaz, Pashka Roy, Raulin Borges, Dondomba, Naocha, three players, of course, who were on loan at other teams. But you've also announced the departure of regulars like Alberto Noguera, Jorge Pereira Diaz, captain Rahul Beke, as well as Vinit Rai. And himself, Kroma has announced that he would also not be staying. That makes 12 players who are leaving Mumbai City FC. And a lot, as I said, of regulars or first choice bench players. That means, yes, Peter Kratky, in his first season, in his first full season in charge of Mumbai City FC, will be building a new squad. Now, certain players have come over the last three, four years. Some of the players had actually come under Sergio Lobera. Some of them came under Dez. And I guess after three, four years, the cycle of a team somewhat is over. Last season, of course, Mumbai City won the Shield. This season, Mumbai City won the Cup. And now, under Kratky, he'll have to build somewhat of a new team. Also give chances to some of the younger players that are in the squad. And there are some interesting decisions that he has to make. Does, for example, a Nikum come back and become sort of a challenger to Changte and Vikram? Or does he spend another season on loan with another team? What happens with other players and, of course, players incoming? The first official announcement, of course, has been that Brandon Fernandes is joining Mumbai City from FC Goa. Coming back, Brandon Fernandes now an established international, one of the best Indian midfielders. It gives Mumbai City options in the middle of the park. Jesh Ran is said to be retained after yeah, some very, very good performances from Jesh in the last few matches. And then, of course, there are these... Rumours so far, I guess they'll be confirmed in the coming days and weeks. Nofal, a talented winger from Gokulam, Kerala, set to join Mumbai City. D.P. Renesh could be the new number two behind Purva Lechempa. So, Mumbai City is active. And on the foreigners' front, yeah, Yolfa Neef has a contract. Tiri, who supposedly was on the verge of leaving, is set to stay. And the other positions will be filled with quality foreigners. And as Mumbai City is, unlike other teams, there's not much rumours about who they potentially could be signing. Of course, there were rumours early on that they could be going after Mehdi Talal, after Diamantakos. Both of these players are joining East Bengal. So I think it's going to be a wait and watch and see what squad Mumbai City puts together. But one thing I am clear and I'm sure, Mumbai City will be putting together a squad which will be fighting for the Shield as well as the ISL Cup. That's my take, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave your ideas, comments below. As always, like, share and subscribe to Arun Foot here on YouTube, but also on my other social media handles, also for arunfoot.com. And I'll be back very, very soon. This is Anava Chaudhary signing off. Bye for now.